Yeah, it looks like it's worked. Okay. That's whether there's going to be enough uh, wire on it now for it to actually go into the uh, the unit that it's supposed to go into. Um, just to explain, it's, it's supposed to go up this, isn't it? So, let's have a quick look. Cathode goes here. And that's supposed to go up this little, well, whatever it is. Yeah, it might work. It might work. We'll try it. But anyway, that's done. And now the next thing is the anode. And <coughs> where's the where's the piece for that? Where's the actual? Ah, oh, there it is. It's stuck on this. So I need to take this off. These are put on with a, I think it's called a stud welder. You see the little studs there. Anyway, take that off if I can. Proving to be a bit awkward. It will come off though. Just needs a bit of persuasion, that's all. Right, so there's the anode piece. So I'll just need to solder it to that now. And it might be better to have a bit more wire than this, really, but we'll see. It might work. Let's put it that way. And. Oh, the other cool thing about this, this um, gas powered soldering iron as well, is that sometimes it can relight itself if it's still hot. Anyway, <coughs> let's try and, well to start with I'll just put a bit of flux on here, just to make sure that's clean, and I might as well put some flux on here as well. Make sure the surfaces are clean, zoom in. And let's see what happens. I'll attempt to put some on here to start with. Yep, yeah, there we go. We've got some on there. And then now on here. Okay, this is going very well. Sometimes they get really dirty and they won't adhere. There we go, it worked. Turn that back off. Right. Now it's whether it will actually fit, that's the issue. So there's the little piece. Goes on there just like that. <coughs> there's my little battery pack. And now let's see if this will actually go up up here. I'm not I'm not convinced that it will. No, that's not going to go up there. Right, so, um, this needs to come back off. I need to join a longer piece of wire to it. And let's try again. We might have to, might have to change the black wire as well, but we'll see. Is this going to go in? I'm not exactly sure how this gets held in place. Yeah, how does it get held in place? It just seems to... I don't know. It's quite free, so... Ah, one of these cells held it in place last time. Like that. Right, well that's obviously not going to work. Um, right, so we need something to pack that in. So it can't move. So previously it was a cell. Hmm. I think I will actually use one of these old cells. 
So just in case, I'll just put a piece of this sticky card stuff on top there, just to make sure there is no more um, conductivity. Ram that in, and there we go. So that's rammed in there. <coughs> I can see the connections, so it all looks fairly good. Let's get a bit more of this card. And I think these cells are dead anyway, but I'll just put some on there, just in case. Now, oh, I'll need to get some cells, of course. I'll just um, go and have a read for some uh, fully charged ones. Okay, I found these. They're all for, well, 4.05 volts. And they all seem to be out of the same batch, although I'm not 100% certain of that. Um, so, yeah. Let's get it done. Okay, so we've got all four cells in here. So that's uh, 4, 8, 16 volts. So this is only 14.4. I'm going to make 16 volts. So, yeah, whatever. Um, let's put this in here now. Right, oh, sometimes with these things, you get problems with contacts. Like, they, the positive doesn't actually touch the contact properly. But um, I'm going to push them in and we'll see if it works. So how are we going to do this? That needs to go in that way. Push those in there. So there's the first and we can just get that in. There's the second. Okay and now these these ones push those in like that. Uh, there's something in the way you know. Yeah, look, that's gone down now, so... Right, I need to pack that out properly. So... I think I'll just ram some of this in it. This will do for a quick fix. I hope, anyway. Hmm, yeah, it might do it. Um, let's give it a go anyway. It's only a quick fix, I mean, really, these batteries, or these cells, should be balanced properly as well, like, they should have the same capacities and stuff, but since this is only a quick fix, I'm not particularly bothered. Um, you know, just a bit of experimentation, really. So I'll close this off now, and give it a try. That bit there, you see where the terminals are, that might not be quite right. I mean, I'll probably end up putting it in and the terminals will slip back down and cause a, an open circuit. And of course the other thing is as well, is that I'm giving it more voltage than, is what, than what's necessary really. And I don't think it'll damage it, but we'll see. Right, so I've screwed it all in. And now I'll just get my voltmeter and check the voltage of this thing. So minus is this side and plus is here. We should get 18 volts. 16. Oh, sorry, yeah, 16. 4 multiplied by 4 16, not 18. Um, so yeah, 16 volts, we're good there. So, the moment of truth. Um, let me just put my solder line away. And let's see what happens. So I'll zoom out. Get rid of this rubbish. And here's the drill. So, oh, it's very, very light. Then it would be because it's lithium yon. Okay, it works perfectly. So, it's, you know, fine there. Torque settings are fine. Uh, let's give it a bit more torque. Yeah, plenty of power. So that was really good. So there's my new lithium ion um, battery driver. And um, I'll be using this in a bit and I'll see if it if it's any good. When it comes to charging it up, there was, well, if I remember rightly, there was a, a charger for it. Um, 
I think I have to undo that, I plug it into something and charge it up. Now that's going to be different now of course, because this is lithium ion, so you would charge lithium ion at 4.2 volts per cell, and there are 4 cells, so that would be uh, 8.4, 16.8, is that right? 16.8 volts. So 16.8 volts will be fully charged. So, oh, of course as well, with lithium ion, you'd probably charge them a constant current, uh, probably about an amp or something like that, depending on the capacity of the cells. Um, I could probably get away with one amp, two amps. But there you go, a very cheap battery driver. Um, saved me quite a lot of money, because I would have just bought a new one, really. Um, so there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Bye!